Okay, now I'm going to show you how to make the ears, leaving yourself a little bit of a tail so that you can uh, put your tapestry needle, uh, thread your tapestry needle and hide it. Going to chain six. One, two, three, four, five, and six. Now you want to turn and skip the first stitch and you want to slip stitch into let me get a little closer. Once you get your six made, you want to turn it, skipping this first one, slip stitch into the next. Just like that. And then you want to do a single crochet in the next stitch. And then you want to do a double crochet to this next. I know it's difficult to get it in there. Double crochet. And then the next one you want to do a single crochet. And then the last one you want to do a slip stitch. Now she says leave this last chain alone and start to slip stitch in the back of the previous four stitches. So going along now, this side, I'm going to slip stitch to this first, whoops, that's the chain, no, this is the first stitch. So I'm going to do a slip stitch in this one, find the next stitch, slip stitch into this one, and the next stitch, slip stitch into that one, and then the fourth one. We're doing four slip stitches. Oh, sorry, I was going off camera there. Then you want to chain one, <laughs> and then cut it your yarn enough to sew on your body. Sew on your head. And I'm going to show you again, especially since I just went off screen. <coughs> so, you want to chain six. One, two, and again, I'm going off screen. Too close. One, two, three, four, five, and six. Now, once you get your six chains, you want to turn, skipping this first one on your hook. You're going to be single crocheting into the second chain from the hook. Now, you're going to be double crocheting in the next stitch. Then you're going to single crochet into the next stitch. You have two chains left here. You're going to single crochet. I mean, sorry, you're going to slip stitch into this last one, leaving one hook, I mean one chain left here. I'm going to pivot my work here. Now I'm working along. Stupid thing. The bottom here. You need four stitches that you just did. You're going to be going in through the bottom part of them. So this is my first one. Okay, fine. Go this way. Stupid tail. B one. Two. Three, then four. I'm going to go ahead and chain one. And again, leaving yourself some tail to pass it on to the head. You don't really need a lot for the ears. And that's it. That's how you make the ears. I'll show you how to make the wings. And you'll be using the same color that you used for your dragon. I'm using the pink because it was requested. Okay, so you want to chain 20, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 
19 and 20. And then once you get your 20, you want to skip the first stitch, go into the second chain from the hook, and single crochet. Single crochet in the next six stitches as well. For a total of seven single crochets. Four, five, six, and seven. <clears throat> Sorry. Now, for the next six stitches, you want to put a half double crochet. So, half double crochet in the next six stitches. One, two, three, four, five, and six. Now you want to do a double crochet in the next six stitches. One, two, three, four, five, <coughs> and six. Okay, now for round two, we're going to be doing a front post double crochet. We'll we have to chain two first and turn. Now for row two, we're going to be doing front post double crochet. So yarn over, grab your first post here, and do a double crochet. Do that again for the next six stitches. Grab up your post, and then do a double crochet. And you need to do that for the next six stitches, for, the, for a total of six stitches. <coughs> I just want to back up, only because I, I like to work over my tail. So I'm just going to be working over my tail as I do my front post double crochets. So that's three, four, five, and six. Now for the next six stitches, we're going to be doing a front post half double crochet. So yarn over, go grab the next post, just like that, and then pull through all three loops. Two, three, four, five, and six. Now we're going to be doing seven front post single crochets. Grab the post, go through two. Go down, pull up the, the post, single crochet. Keep doing that till you have seven single crochets, front post single crochets. Seventh one, kind of pushing my way into this last little section. <coughs> okay. Now for we need to chain one and turn. And for row three, we're going to be doing seven front post single crochets again. One, two, three, four, five, six, 
and seven. Now we're going to be doing six half double crochets, just regular old double half double crochets. Six in the next, and and then two the next six stitches. It's four, five, and six. <coughs> Now we're going to be doing six double crochets. So it's one, two, three, four, five, and six. Now we need to chain three and turn. Now for row four, we're going to be making a little claw. <clears throat> These little claws here that are on the end. Every few rows we'll have to do one of those. So what we do in our chain three that we just made, is so we're going to skip the first chain and then the second one working from the back of the chain here. I'm going to be putting a slip stitch. And then the next one, next chain, we're going to be doing a single crochet. And then now we're going to do six front post double crochets. One, Two, three, four, five, and six. Now we're going to be doing six front post half double crochets into the next six post. One, two, three, four, five, and six. And now we're going to be doing seven front post single crochets to the next seven stitches. One, two, three, four, Six and seven. You want to chain one and turn. Now for row five, I'm going to be doing seven front post single crochets. Two, three, four, five. Six, seven. Then now for the next six stitches, we're going to be doing regular half double crochets. One, two, three, four, five, and six. For the next six stitches, we're going to be doing a double crochet. One, two, three, four, five, and six. Now we're going to chain two, turn, and now for row six, we're going to be doing six front post double crochets. So as you can see, the pattern is when you've got the back facing you here, you're going to be doing front post something. When you have the ridges facing you, you're going to be doing regular half double crochets and half um, half double crochets. These will always be front post. This first seven single crochets, whether you're going through this way or on the back way, it will always be front post.
and gives it more stability. The only things that change is the six double crochets and the six half double crochets. When you have the back facing in here, you want to do back post. I mean, sorry, front post. So we do six front post double crochets. Four, five, six. Then we're going to be doing six half front post half double crochets. One, two, three, <coughs> four, five, and six. Doing seven front post single crochets. Two, three, four. five, six, and seven. Then we chain one, we turn. Now again we're going to be doing seven front post single crochets. One, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. And now we're going to be doing six half double crochets and then six double crochets. So next six stitches do a half double crochet. Three, four, five, and six. Then six double crochets. One, two, three, four, five and six. Now we're going to chain three because we're going to be making one of our little claws again. Turn and skipping the first stitch go into the second chain from the hook and slip stitch. Then the third chain from the hook to a single crochet. Then now we're going to be doing six front post double crochets. One, two, three, four, five, six, then six half, front post half double crochets. Two, three, four, five, and six, and then seven front post single crochets. One, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. We chain one, and we turn. And you're going to be doing <coughs> seven front post single crochets. One, two, three, four, five, six and seven. Then you're going to be doing six regular half double crochets and six regular double crochets. Three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, and six double crochets. Then you want to, <coughs> sorry, you want to chain two and turn. 
row 10. We're going to be doing six back post um, double crochets, then six half double crochets, back post, and then seven. I'll be doing one of those. I'll see you at the end of round 10. And then chain one and turn. Now for row 11, I'm going to be doing seven front post single crochets. Three, four, five, six, and seven. And then we're going to be doing six regular half double crochets and six regular double crochets. And of round 11, you want to chain three. I'm going to be making another little spike. Again, skip the first stitch, go into the second, slip stitch, then go into the third chain and single crochet. And now we're going to be doing the back post, six back post double crochets, six back post half double crochets, and seven back post single crochets. And I'll see you back here when you get done. Now when you get to the end of your row, we want to turn to where the the place, <laughs> the side place is facing us. We still have the back of the wing, if you want to call this the back, the non-textured side. And we're going to be doing six single crochets worked along the bottom. So you're going to be skipping a stitch. So a single crochet there, skip one of the ridges. Then you can just single crochet right beside one of the next ridges. Then single crochet by one of the next ridges. You need a total of six stitches here. So you have to skip a stitch because there's 12 rows. So I'll just put a single crochet next to each ridge. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, sorry about that. Now, for the next uh, part of it, you need to make 19 slip stitches down the side. So you need to start with the first one here. It's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, Eight, nine, ten, eleven. You're going down the side stitches here. Twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, and nineteen. Now you want to leave yourself quite a bit of tail because you're going to be needing to feed it through here and then you need to sew here on the dragon and then you're going to be sewing down this way and then you need to sew again back this way so you need quite a bit of yarn here for your your wing and I'm just going to chain one and then pull my yarn through and then tighten it and get my tapestry needle and thread it And then, where's my, here we go. Now, this place where we just slip stitched down, I'm going to be feeding my tapestry needle through this section. Just to get my yarn back where it needs to be so I can sew it on. Just going through these top stitches here. Just like that. And pull your tail all the way through, and I don't know why it's sticking, but I'll fix it. There we go, and just pull it to loosen it up there. And now you are ready to have it sewn on. Make one more of these, and then I'll show you how to sew everything together. Real quick. 
forgot about the eyes here. I were making I was making a uh, crocheted eyes here, but I did find some little ones that have the holes on it that I'm gonna be using for this project. But the rest I actually had a crochet my own. And if you're like me and you couldn't find any uh, eyes, it's not part of the pattern, but I'm gonna show you how to make how I made my eyes. Use whatever color that you want. And I chained two. And then again going in through this second chain from the hook, I single crocheted three. So one, two, and three. Then I just slip stitched into my, actually this three, so this first one here, I guess would be like the fourth. I slip stitch in here. Then I chain one, and then I cut my yarn, leave myself a tail to sew it on. Kind of gives you a, a kind of, not oval, teardrop kind of shape. And if uh, this is the way you're making it, make two, and I will show you how to sew it all together.